Hey YouTubers! It's Alexia once again. Yes, two videos in like a day. Not even a month, people. Not even a week. A day. Yes, I'm getting on top of this. I promise you. I'm going to be more up to date on this. I promise you. Okay. Um, as I said before, I've been reading a lot these past few months that I haven't been on here. And this one... I'm really kind of excited to talk about like it's kind of an unknown book like not not a lot of people I know know it I was search it up on Amazon and boy when I found it I was like oh my god this is gonna be so great I was pretty much right <laughs> I personally enjoyed this book it had suspense it had romance it had people in it I just wanted to beat the crap out of but I knew I couldn't because it was a book Ooh, I just loved it so much I loved it. Mm. Oh, and I'm sorry. I'm rambling. But then again, that's the point of this video. Ah, oh, I'm doing it again. Okay. This time, the book is called Nevermore. Yes, Nevermore. Same line as the famous Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. Quoth the Raven, Nevermore. This book basically revolves around Edgar Allan Poe's poetry. And if you kind of, if you like that kind of person, yeah, you're gonna love this book. I I love Edgar Allan Poe, Poe's poetry. Love it. No lie. And when I found out that they made a book like about not about his poetry, but it was based off his poetry, I I freaked I freaked out. I was like, oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. And when I finally got it in, I had to start reading it. And let me show you how thick this book is, too. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's practically like Twilight thick, but this book is longer. So these are, this is probably more pages than Twilight. No lie. Um, the book is about a girl named Isabel who's pretty much the it girl in school. She's very popular. She has friends. She had a boyfriend. She... She pretty much was the girl to be with. Okay. And then it talks about another dude who has the weirdest name ever. Like, no lie. Varen. I'm going to spell it out for y'all. V-A-R-E-N. Varen. Who is pretty much the goth kid in school that no one wants to talk to. You know, he has... If I remember correctly, he has, like, piercings. I don't remember any tattoos. But he's pretty much the bad boy and misunderstood dude. Kind of like the outcast in the story. Well, Isabel's boyfriend at the time treated this guy like crap. Like, he was the scum on the bottom of his shoe. He was horrible to Varen. And when you read the things that this boyfriend does... Your heart will go out to Varen, and like this kid does not deserve it. He hasn't done anything to these people, anything, and you just feel so bad for him. And Isabel feels the same way, so she steps up to the boyfriend and says, "No, this cannot happen." And when fateful day, the boyfriend totally trashed Varen's place of work, which was I think an ice cream store at the time, and she just couldn't handle it and just said get out get out of my life get out of my face i don't want to deal with you anymore we're through right there you know she helped varen clean the ha clean the uh the office and everything and that first time you don't really see a click like you can tell varen is kind of suspicious about it why is this girl helping me this must be a trick you know that kind of thing but Isabel pretty much has genuine feelings for this kid. Like, at first it, did, it wasn't like a, oh my god, he's cute, blah, 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 kind of thing. It was like an, oh my god, he really needs help. Maybe I can help him. You know, that kind of thing. But, as they kind of get, as they get closer together, and they start hanging out more, Isabel realizes that there's more to Varen than meets the eye. Varen writes in this notebook of everything of his dreams that he's been having for a long time she cannot see it there is one time maybe once or twice in the book that she actually 
holds it in her hand or is actually skimming through it and reading it. Um, some Most of the plot, like the beginning of the book, there is a whole um, conspiracy of how Edgar Allan Poe had died. He was... He went into a mental institution maybe three days before he passed away. And he started talking about these visions and thinking that he was in a room and like these crazy things are happening and he had suddenly died like the third day in the hospital he said he was claiming i'm running away from them i have to get away i have to destroy everything that i've written blah 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 blah. like he was going nuts the people really thought they were going he was going nuts and he just died they don't know how she just died and in this book, they pretty much come up with a theory of how he died. Now, it's not a true theory, because this could never happen in her life. Maybe it's a lunatic who's seeing this. But in real life, no way, people. And Isabel's fascinated with Varen, and Varen's one of those people that is like Poe. He's going slowly, slowly crazy, and he's seeing these things. And then... Isabel starts seeing these things. She starts seeing like little demon kids and they're messing up football games. They're trying to hurt people. They're, they're trying to really hurt Varen. And Varen, towards the end of the book, he's trying to save her from going through what he's going through. But Isabel winds up falling in love with him and she tries to save him. The book, at the, the end of the book will upset you, but I'm telling you right now, there will be a second one. There has to be. I'm not, I can't say that for certain, but if you read the end of the book, you'll be like, there, there has to be another one. I do not know the name of the title. I don't know when it's coming out. I do not know if there's a movie. That's as far as I know so far. Um, I will put the summary and a little note that they have. Because the back of the book is not the summary. It's a little note that Varen had written for Isabel. Actually, I'll read it to you so I could save the space. Isabel, this was the only way I knew how to reach you. After tonight, it will all go away. I never meant for you to be pulled into any of this, ever. Please believe that. Somehow, I've lost control of everything. I only wish I could see you again. I wish I could tell you everything that I couldn't before. Most of all, I wish, it was, I wish there was a way we could start over. Whatever happens now, please believe that I didn't mean for it to end this way. Yours always, V. Ooh, doesn't that just make your heart race just a little bit? Knowing that... Oh, I'm going to show you the picture. That's supposedly Varen, and that's supposedly Isabel. I think they look cute. He's a little creepy, but it's okay if she likes him fine with me i'm gonna put the summary up in the sidebar so if y'all want to look at it or whatever um honestly i give this book like two thumbs up if i could have four arms i give it four thumbs up i love this book i cannot wait for the second one i really cannot um if you like romance if you like that little twisted stuff like tim burton kind of crap if you like edgar Allan poe if you like thrilling stuff this is the book for you it got everything no lie i completely completely love this book and i recommend it to anyone who loves the same crap that i do which most of y'all people who subscribe to me kind of like the book that i've done anyway so please please pick it up or read the summary on the side get interested in it look up deep look up into it like go on wikipedia with look up some stuff about it because i don't want people to just give up on this book this book is really good no lie the beginning could be slow so so with the pace i was reading i didn't find it was slow but it could be slow to some of you who are slower readers love this book i can't i can't oh oh my god oh, it's almost 10 minutes on this video already anyway i just want to say this book is amazing please look it up it is called nevermore the author is kelly cree I will post the summary in the sidebar, okay? Thank you so much for listening, and stay tuned for the next rambling of me, duh. <laughs> Love you, people.